Today I'm going to read from Psalm 73. It's a psalm of Asaph, a chief musician. And uh, I think we can all identify with this psalm. Asaph lays it out there. He starts off with it. God is good. God is good to Israel, to those whose hearts are pure. Then he goes on, but as for me, I came so close to the edge of the cliff, my feet were slipping and I was almost gone. Asaph's going, God is good, but I nearly miss seeing it for myself. Uh, my feet came so close to the edge of the cliff and I was nearly gone. Why? Because the next verse says, because he had envied the proud and he was angry at those who were opposed to God, but they seemed to be enjoying life with all their wealth and possessions and partyings, and they were going on with life, and he started to become angry and envious, and he, 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 he started to become proud in his own spirit. Asaph goes on, I think it's in verse 11, that doesn't God realize what's going on? Is the Most High not even aware is what? not happening God don't you see we ask the same questions when things in our world are, don't seem to make sense and we go God don't you see the evil don't you see this don't you see that Asa goes on he goes on in the psalm he goes did I keep my heart pure for nothing all I get is trouble every day and then he kind of like comes to a a intersection in his life and he goes then I realized how bitter I had become how foolish I was and it's interesting God doesn't just push him away and go bah. he goes no God actually drew me close to him he holds me by my right hand he continues to guide me in my confusion when I don't understand how the how the world just seems to get away with everything and they're opposed to you and then he refocuses he says I belong to you doesn't matter what the what the world's doing doesn't matter whether people are prospering or evil or what I belong to you he says whom have I in heaven but you and there is no one on earth I desire beside you my health may fail my spirit may fail my spirit, sorry, may grow weak. But you, O oh God, remain the strength of my life. Being proud, being angry, allowing in en en envy doesn't win the day. It actually strips me of strength. As for me, Asaph says, the very best thing I can do in all the world is verse 28, is to draw near to you. The best thing you can do today is to just take a time and go, God, I draw to you. I see the evil on TV. I see what's happening here. I don't understand theirs. The very best thing I can do to you today is to draw near to you. I run to you. You're my only hope, my refuge, my shelter. At the beginning of the day, the psalm, he was nearly falling over the cliff out of envy and pride and anger. But at the end of it, he goes, but as for me, I will trust in you. I will draw near to you. Allow your focus to be on Jesus today. There's so much happening in our world, so much on the news, so much seems to be evil and trouble happening around about us. We don't stand back as holier than thou righteous people, but we are to pray for people. We are to pray for the people in our world. We're not to cast judgment on them. But at the same time, we draw, as we draw close to him, we draw close to his heart. He's not willing that any should perish. It's not always easy, but ask for the help to go through the day. Lord, as I draw close to you, I put my trust in you. Whom have I in heaven but you? Let me hear the, your heartbeat. Your heartbeat is for the lost and the people in the world that I get angry at. And you are not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to you through Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, today, we pray for people in our world that may anger us. They seem to be getting away with blue murder or just seem to be enjoying life without you. We pray for them today that they would come to know you, that they would know who you are. As we draw close to you, we know your heartbeat. In Jesus' name, amen.